Good morning guys. I hope you're having a great day. It is a beautiful day here in Oklahoma. We have lots of family here. We're doing lots of outdoor activities. The weather is actually really, really nice today, which is perfect for a family reunion. Corey has set up a really fun activity for the kids where he hid a bunch of coins. Um, they're using metal detectors to find them, but two of the coins have special symbols and if they find those, they win a special prize. We are at my grandpa's house for the reunion this year and his house is awesome because it's by a golf course and so there's so much room for activities and just all sorts of fun stuff. These dogs are having so much fun too. That's my uncle Eddie holding one dog and these are his family's two dogs. We were gonna bring Penny, but uh, she's pretty happy at home. And she's kind of she's kind of the crazy one. You guys know Penny is a great dog, but when she gets around a lot of people, she tends to get nervous and doesn't really know kind of where to go, where the safe space is, how to act. I think if we were at our house with all these people, it would be no problem. But being somewhere new, she doesn't quite have that safe space. So we decided to leave her at home and she's fine. She can go inside and outside and the cats are doing great. Um, if you guys have cats, you know they're actually pretty self-sufficient. So they have all the resources, plenty of food and water. They have the whole house to roam in. So our animals are definitely happy. Although Penny would definitely be having an awesome time if she was here, that's for sure. Go check on Chell. She's napping up in our room. We have Chell's uh, baby monitor and she was so cute falling asleep. Look at how she's sleeping now. This is the mattress Corey and I are sleeping on and she's just like, I mean, she's mainly on the mattress. I'd say like, what, 80% of her body is on the mattress still? Corey took some video of her that's adorable and she was trying to fall asleep. We're trying to see if she can handle a toddler bed or if the crib is still the way to go. We're thinking based on this clip that she can probably handle a toddler bed now. What do you guys think? So I don't think anyone has found his special coins. The boys gave up. The two girls, Lacey and Sarah, those are my cousin's kids, and they have been finding coins like crazy, but I'm not sure they found the special ones. The special prizes Corey has for this. Have you told the kids what the special prizes are? No, I'm gonna go get them now. Oh man, he has some awesome prizes for this game. <laughs> Is he revealing the prizes? A giant blow of poop. <laughs> it's a pool float! <laughs> <laughs> you can blow it up and you can sleep on it. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's disgusting, both of them. On a craftier note, look at this cheese ball that's shaped like a pumpkin that Miss Lacey and Aunt Lori made. So cute. And they are also working on turkey cupcakes, which is so awesome. Those look really good. The most difficult thing to me about these reunions is just finding stuff. Like I asked Corey to bring um, some of his like crystal light mix so I can fill up my big, big cup. No idea where it is. My grandpa's pantry is huge, but it is a little all over the place. And plus you have people bringing stuff like we brought those groceries and the ice cream maker and somebody else brought all this stuff. Like where would someone have put the crystal light? It's a classic too many cooks in the kitchen, right? Everyone has different places that are logical that to them to put things. And my grandpa doesn't really cook, so he doesn't know where anything should go. <sighs> I'll just find it. Keep looking until I find it. This pregnant lady needs her crystal light. Cory, did you bring the crystal light? Where is it? In the, in the, in the, in the, the, the 
this Hong Kong food thing crap down the road and did it here. Oh, the car. Logical to him, but not to me. This is cute. Edward got a Big Mean Kitty book from Corey. Do you like it? Have you read it? You gonna go read it? He just keeps carrying it around. Chell, there's something coming in the house. <gasps> what is that? Is it a horsey? It's kind of a funny looking horsey. The dogs aren't sure what to think. <laughs> What do you think? Go see the horsey, Chell. Elizabeth likes the horsey. We are off on a little adventure as a family. We're going to this place that my grandparents used to own called Arrowhead Camp. It's like a cabin rental on the river and you can get like canoes and rafts and it's a very cool place to come as a kid and see. And it's nice to see it now too. For those of you who are big fans of the Alaska stuff that we used to do, uh, this place, this area, it, it feels the same. It's like super wild. There's so many really cool things to see and do. We just never got a chance to get out in the summertime because we were just still trying to adjust to like, we you We weren't know. here most of the summer. I know, that's true. So this is gonna be a place, guys. The next summer, we are just gonna be doing so many cool things. And yeah. I am so excited. I haven't been fishing yet. I haven't gotten my canoe out. There's so many things. Like, I cannot wait to show you. Oh, and also, this is the place that inspired me to skip the rock on that frozen lake because we'd come to this um, area um, for a birthday party just before we skipped the rock in the frozen lake. And I was skipping rocks with Mark. I said, man, that's so fun, you know, and, and uh, yeah, started skipping rocks on the frozen lake and made that crazy sound. I thought, wow, that's amazing. And then life just, this is where it all began. So now we are headed into the woods. This is Pine Valley, which is another place my grandparents own that had some cabins. And they actually lived out here in this really beautiful house. And you've been here, Corey. Yeah, I love this area. It's just so, so woody and, and awesome. Nature. So this is the house my grandma and grandpa lived in for a large part of like my older childhood. And my grandpa actually kind of built this house from scratch with the help of some guys, including like my Uncle Hurley and some other helpers. Very, very cool to come back and see. My grandparents have always had rental properties, it seems like. It's neat to be back because everyone's just telling stories about the things they remember and, oh yeah, that tree house, I think that's what they're talking about. My grandpa built that for us, but I was always too nervous to climb up there. Look how steep that ladder is. The dogs are loving it, of course. That was always a cool thing about having the reunions and my grandparents live up here, is you could just bring your animals and let them run because they owned all of this property and even some, well, a lot of the woods too. So there was nobody else or no other animals that were gonna get them. What do you think, Chell? Do you wanna roll? You gonna roll? Be careful going down the hill. Be careful! <laughs> Down she goes. Roll! Grangy to the rescue! Now we've stopped off at the Illinois River and everyone's throwing rocks in the river. This is the river that Arrowhead Camp, which their beach is kind of down there in the background. It is on the Illinois River. So this was a place that I came a lot as a kid. Oh, Jill's going towards the water. She loves her water. We'd come here a lot as kids and just play in the water with the rocks. And um, it's really, really beautiful in the summer. You can float down the river, canoe, kayak, whatever. This is a very popular place in Oklahoma for that sort of thing. Oh, Elizabeth's got a rock. Oh, big splash. Chell is loving this, the combo of rocks and water. I mean, if there were balls out here, then maybe it would be paradise, but this is pretty close. She probably actually would love to get in the water. It's just too cold. Kristen, that is a mountain. That right there, I mean, well, it's, <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a mountain, but I guess you can call it a mountain. Uh, it's yeah, sort of a it's, hill. It's kind of a hill mountain. But I would say that's probably the biggest thing I've seen that sort of resembles a mountain <laughs> in Oklahoma. Wait, we're still in Oklahoma, right? Yes, we are. Okay, okay, because that, yeah. This is so pretty, guys. Look at this drive. It is beautiful. I wish we could, we, I wish we could have come here during the, the fall season where the, the leaves were turning and stuff, because it's just gorgeous. We kind of missed it, yeah. You know, it's still beautiful right now. Though. It is. It's just, look at the rocks. Look at the rocks on the left side, guys. Just look at the formations. We, we were driving by some places earlier that there's a house built on these rocks that had a river running, like, sort of out of the rocks, and... Wow, it was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. 
So we're back home and uh, I didn't tell you guys I found this rock over at the uh, the <laughs> river. It's like the greatest rock. This is the most disgruntled looking rock I've ever seen. He's just, He's just so angry. Ugh, I hate my life. My life is awful. He's like, he's like he's like a real life like troll rock. Yeah. Let's go in the house. Let's go in the house. It's cold outside for you, but not for Dada because it's it does it's definitely not that cold. Love. 